Hello and welcome to the Passenger Seat Podcast, a podcast designed to fill your passenger seat with chat about classic cars, all recorded from my 1968 Morris Minor Peggy. I'm Becca and today I'm off to pick up my partner from work um, and also pop in and say hello to my parents um, as they've just kind of got back from a little bit of time away so just pop in and say hello to them while on my way. My quirk of classic car ownership for you today is how owning a classic car can have a bit of an infectious impact on other people as well and tempt them into owning cars as well. I've seen it happen quite a few times on Instagram where people have really enjoyed other people's cars and then been lured into uh, buying one themselves and uh, you might hear something very similar along those lines in today's podcast having happened within my circles as a result of me owning Peggy. So welcome back, Uh, I know I've already welcomed you to the podcast today, but welcome back to season two of uh, the Passenger Seat Podcast. Today's episode is just a kind of short update on what I've been up to while I've been away and uh, a little kind of catch you up on what to expect from this month's, uh, this season on the podcast. Uh, Because I've got quite a few exciting things for you lined up. Part of the reason for me taking the time off was indeed to get a few things lined up, a few things sorted um, for the podcast in the long term um, so that uh, we had a really exciting season to, to look forward to. closest we've come to a problem this uh, in this little break was the fact that there's a corner that I take on my way home from work that when it's wet and slippery can be quite a challenge in a rear wheel drive car Um, so it's taken a little bit of getting used to because I wasn't really driving that way home um, this time last year um, because the road was closed so uh, gonna prepare myself and possibly think about taking a different route home on the really wet and icy days because that corner is not only quite bet sharp but I think the road surface is a little bit uh, smooth and not very grippy as well so other than that though she's doing really good um, I'm really looking forward to winter motoring in her again 
um, and doing all sorts of things with her that I'm going to get onto in the second half of this podcast. just because you haven't been seeing any updated episodes doesn't mean I haven't been working really hard on the podcast kind of behind the scenes. Um, During my time off uh, recording episodes, although that's not technically true, um, I did work on creating a new logo for the podcast, uh, which you can sort of make out on my t-shirt, but you'll also be able to kind of see on the YouTube channel and Spotify and things like that as well. Um, it's just a bit more of a cleaner design and a bit more uh, usable in things like I've made some um, car window stickers um, which I've been giving out to people who've helped me out with the podcast and uh, obviously I've made myself up a little t-shirt as well um, to wear to something that's coming up a little bit later on in uh, the season being the winter season now obviously Um, So that's kind of one thing that I spent a little bit of time on. Also, once I've got that logo done, I made up a few little business cards and things like that that I can keep in in the dashboard here to hand out to people about the podcast and things like that. I actually handed one of my first ones out uh, a week or so ago um, when I got to speak to a gentleman who had started bringing his Ford Cortina to work with him, uh, well, to take him to work, uh, a new purchase for him. He'd owned a Ford Angular that was kind of pristine uh, and show condition for a little bit of time by now. Um, but the Cortina is a little bit more ready to be used um, and not something to worry about using so he's started to think about using that to come to and from work on a couple of days a week so we got chatting um, it turns out that part of the reason was that he'd seen Peggy parked up in the work car park um, and was hoping to kind of park them together it's not quite happened yet we seem to keep missing each other um, but fingers crossed that when uh, at some point during the next uh, season we'll get to park next to each other but handed him one of my business cards which is pretty fun um, and I'm hoping to be handing a few of those out uh, later this month at an event. Also set up a Facebook page for the podcast so if you're not on Instagram and haven't been able to kind of keep up with what I've been doing outside of uh, recording the episodes then you might be on Facebook and might want to check us out there instead Um, really kind of just sharing the same sort of stuff as what I am on the Instagram um, but another way for you to kind of keep up with things that happen during the week in between episodes coming out and also get some little hints about what is coming up in the next episode so uh, if you're not following us on Instagram or if you are and you'd also kind of like to support us on another platform you can check us out on Facebook now which is great I've also not really taken a break from recording episodes I know that over the next few months I'm going to have a couple of busy periods so I've tried to record a few episodes in advance including bringing on our first guest stars onto the podcast. Um, I've recorded one guest star already who you'll get to see in good time on the channel um, and was also the first receiver of a little thank you car window sticker for their Morris Minor. Um, but also kind of got in contact with a few of the people that I'd really love to introduce you guys to through the podcast. Uh, I've obviously shared quite a lot of my own experiences and things like that of owning a classic car but I think it would be really good for you guys to hear some other perspectives as well and I think uh, using this platform is a really good way of sharing stories because I think one of the best things about owning classic cars is the stories that you get from owning them. So uh, recorded a few, uh, one of those and also uh, lined up a few others as well and also pre-recorded a few other little episodes as well that I had the idea to sport just so that we've got a nice packed and exciting season for you to listen to all the way through to uh, end of March I think this season when I worked it out is going to last another packed 20 episodes of fun. On top 
of that, uh, whilst I was away, I also uh, announced that not only would I be attending the MEC this year, um, but Peggy is also going to be on the Morris Minor Young Owners Members stand. Um, we're going to be kind of with all the other Morris Miners this year, so you'll be able to come and have uh, a nosy at her. She's going to be there the Friday, the Saturday and the Sunday. Um, but I'm going to be there the Saturday and the Sunday. Unfortunately, uh, having to work means that um, she's going to get dropped off there on the Thursday night. I'm going to have to go to work on the uh, Friday and then I'm going to spend the weekend with her. Uh, sometimes on the stand, other times hopefully having a little wander around. So if you do come to the NEC show and spot me there, please come and say hello. I'm aiming to wear this t-shirt on one of the days. So you'll get to kind of definitely know it's me if I'm wandering around on the floor uh, because these t-shirts are only for me at the minute so um, you, you'll definitely be able to spot us. Um, but Peggy uh, is going to be there. We're going to have um, two others, Mavis and uh, Bumble who are from the Morris Minor, also young owners but they're based um, in the Avon branch and also uh, Patch and his trailer, the one and a half of a Morris Minor, uh, who's also gonna be there. So it's gonna be a really great stand, some really interesting cars for you to come and have a look at, uh, as long, alongside all the other amazing things that always happen at these shows. I'm so excited to be going to the NEC for the first time. Um, I've heard so many good things about it. I've been binge watching other YouTubers' previous experiences of going to the NEC. Uh, so I had a really good idea about what to expect and I really can't wait so looking forward to hopefully seeing a few people uh, there as well it means that our season of car shows isn't quite over for us I've also <laughs> sounds like I've been doing loads but I really have been trying to work on making uh, this channel really exciting and also uh, growing the community that's uh, listening to us a little bit more. So I've written two articles uh, recently. The first one appeared in Minor Matters which is the Morris Minor Owners Club magazine and that was in the September-October issue uh, talking about how I came to buy Peggy and things like that. And uh, more recently, literally arrived the day that I'm recording this podcast actually, the November issue of Classic Retro Modern, uh, a new magazine that's really quite a chunky magazine, comes out once a month and has some fantastically interesting articles in it. Uh, I wrote a little article in there about uh, Peggy and my experiences of owning her, some of the adventures and things that we've gone on for their Your Classic section. So when this podcast goes out, it should still be available for you guys to buy, I believe in WH Smith's, if you're interested in checking that magazine out um, and having a little read of my article that I put in there. another kind of little thing that's happened in the time that we've been away. Um, my parents have actually bought another car for their own fleet. Um, kind of, their fleet prior to this has existed of kind of two modern cars that are theirs, um, a camper van, the two 1930s singers, Nelly and Emma, and then finally um, my dad's kind of work car and a project, Hillman Imp, that's been a project for a little while now. Um, so that's kind of been their fleet for a while um, but the plan is now currently to kind of think about getting rid of uh, the Nissan Micra which is the kind of car that I used to drive before Peggy um, because they've just bought an Austin A40 Farina. We're still waiting on a naming decision, uh, big decisions to be made um, but it's a lovely little red A40 Farina. My dad's been doing a little few bits and pieces but the idea is that it can be a fun little weekend car, um, even through winter, much like uh, Peggy is, uh, can be kind of a little bit of a daily driver if they want it to be. Um, a little bit inspired, I guess, by the fact that I've been having so much fun in Peggy, um, although 
my dad's probably seen the, the worst end of owning one of these cars and the fact that he's been helping me a lot with anything that's gone wrong in the last year and a half. Um, but it's not put him off and they've made this lovely little purchase. It's a lovely little car with very satisfying doors that close and I'm hoping uh, to have a little go at driving it at some point um, and perhaps sharing it with you guys on the channel. Because I think it will be interesting to uh, kind of do a little bit of a comparison. Not really so much of a review, but another car to kind of add to uh, my experiences in kind of driving these cars. So really excited for that edition um, and I'm hoping that they're going to enjoy it as much as I enjoy Peggy. They did used to obviously own 60s cars as uh, a kind of daily runabout uh, when I was a lot younger and I've spoken about that on the channel before. So it's kind of good that they've gone back to uh, that way of life a little bit as well and I think they're going to really enjoy it because it's a very, very lovely little car um, from what I've seen of it. So that's kind of a roundup of what I've been up to um, while uh, I've been away. Hopefully you can see that whilst I've had I think maybe five weeks off, um, you can see that I've been working quite hard on the podcast um, and doing a lot of bits and pieces to make it a really enjoyable season. So what have you got to look forward to in the season coming up? Well obviously one of the first things is going to be uh, the NEC. It's actually happening as this podcast goes out that I'll be driving up to Birmingham and the NEC to drop Peggy off and stay the night up there um, before going to kind of work the next day. So you'll obviously next week have my review of the show, some of my footage and if you're watching on the YouTube channel and uh, kind of uh, a bit of an experience piece in terms of what it's like to exhibit your car at the show. Like I said, I'm really excited and I'm really keen to share that with you guys as well. So something there for you to look forward to. We've obviously got all those interviews that I'm hoping to get done as well planned. Um, I've got some really interesting people lined up to hopefully come on, talk about their ownership of cars and also some of the things that they've been doing within the car community uh, to try and get uh, more people involved, uh, more people out and enjoying their cars. So definitely going to be some interesting things and also I think it will be nice for you guys to uh, hear from someone other than me occasionally throughout the season. I'm also hoping that this season on the podcast is going to be a way for some of you who've tucked your cars away uh, for the winter to live vicariously through me and Peggy in the experiences of winter motoring. I've had kind of a very limited experience last year because of various lockdowns and things like that. I wasn't really driving to and from work all that much, but we did get to do Christmas Day out with her. Uh, we did get to go kind of Christmas lights hunting to try and get some really nice photos of her under Christmas lights and things like that. So this year I'll be able to bring you along to some of those exciting uh, little adventures that we'll have with her you've got to kind of look forward to and so if you've got your if you've got your classic tucked away for the winter then you can uh, experience a little bit of that with me I'll also be talking about some of the bits and pieces that are, I have to do to kind of keep her going through winter um, like uh, washing out any salt and things like that from underneath uh, all those sorts of things, I'll probably do anything kind of in the January period about the stuff that I've had to do so far. So if it sounds like you've got a lot to look forward to, which I hope it does, I hope you'll stay tuned uh, for season two of the Passenger Seat Podcast. I'm really hoping to kind of do some more exciting things and if you've got any suggestions of things that you would like to see me cover on the podcast uh, then drop me either a message on Instagram or Facebook or um, drop me a comment if you're watching on the YouTube channel. Thank you ever so much for listening. Drive safely and happy motoring.